There's no need for you girls to do this. After all, you cooked. It's okay. You don't want it. Speak for yourself. <laughs> do you always help your mum when you're at home like this? Yeah, I have to. Well, since Dad died, she has to work full time and she gets pretty tired. I'm sorry, I, I didn't realise. Oh, it's okay. It happened a couple of years ago. Mum was really depressed for a long time, though, and she just started getting over it. That must have been hard on you. It was a bit. But um, I had to hold it together because Mum needed me. Can't Kirsty finish this? Like you said, we cooked. Sure, I don't mind. Good. Come on. Right then. Let's uh, finish this, shall we? Want some company? Of course not, but uh, wouldn't you rather be with the other girls? No, they're doing their dance routine. Besides, I don't think Jade really wants me there when Melissa's there. Did she say that? No, but it's pretty obvious. They're so secretive, always whispering together. Hmm. You and Dad are really worried about her, aren't you? Yeah. We think she might be in the early stages of bulimia. Well, I do anyway. I thought it was that. Kirsty, how much do you know about Melissa? Um, not much. I know she's crazy about ballet, just like Jade. Crazy about exercising, too? Sort of. Why do you and Dad think they're both doing it? Mm, I have a feeling, yeah. What are you going to do? I guess I'm just going to have to stop it, I suppose. Sorry, sorry, let's do it again. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with me today. Maybe you need some fresh air. How about we go for a run? No, I'll get it right. No, you need a break. I'll get my joggers. Last night? Isn't it in the fridge? No. Do you reckon Jay's eating it? Or Melissa. You who? Oh, hi, Colleen. Oh, I'm glad I've run into you two. I don't suppose you happened to be out here last night? No, why? Oh, there was this awful noise coming from the shower block. I think it must have been a drunk or something. I could hear somebody being sick. Oh, I'm glad it's not me that has to clean up in there. It sounded horrible. Well, you should have come and got me. Oh, no, I was, I was too scared to come out. I just hope they'd go away. You can't be too careful. Oh, well, I'm on my way to work. Good luck with the cleaning. Hooroo! Bye. Thanks, Brenda. Yeah, I'll be in touch. OK, bye. Who's that? Uh, Brenda Crotty. Should that mean anything to me? A uh, psychiatrist I worked with a couple of years ago. She, uh, she specialises in eating disorders. Um, you'll not get Jay to a shrink. Well, you'll just have to help us try to convince her then, won't you? Reese, Shelley! What? She's collapsed. Who's collapsed? Oh, Jade's little friend, down at the beach, moaning like she was in agony. The ambulance is on its way. Well, I'll get down there. I'll meet you at the hospital. OK. <laughs> It hurts so much. It's all right. Just don't talk. What happened? I don't know. We were just jogging and she collapsed. Hang on, Melissa. Help's on its way. You'll be OK. <laughs> it's OK. Come on. What are they doing in there? They've been ages. Why doesn't someone say anything? We just have to wait. I don't understand. Why did she just collapse like that? Well, I thought you might be able to tell us something. How would I know? She was perfectly fine. That's Mrs. Mum. Oh, I'll speak to her. Uh, Mrs. Hill, I'm Shelley Sutherland. What on earth happened? Oh, we're not sure yet. Melissa and Jay were out running and Melissa collapsed. Well, where is she? What are they doing? Oh, the doctor's with her. No one's allowed in yet. But she's my daughter. I need to see her. I know. The doctor shouldn't be long. Why don't you come and sit down? 
There's nothing you can do. Come on. Hi. I just don't understand. She wasn't sick. An eating disorder? What, you mean anorexia? That's ridiculous. She's always had a healthy appetite. And besides, she'd never do anything like that. She's much too level-headed. She's been the mainstay of our household. Ever since my husband passed away, Melissa's taken charge of everything. I don't know what I'd do without her. You've got to stop this thing that you're doing, Jade. I mean, what if something like this happens to you? She's just naturally slender. She always has been. It's not that I think Melissa's anorexic. Well, well what is it then? Oh, how is she? You're Melissa's mother. Yes, what's happened? It's quite serious, I'm afraid. She's got a chronic erosion of her esophagus and what looks like the beginning of an ulcer. But the main problem is the repeated vomiting has caused her stomach to tear. Repeated vomiting? But she never told me she was sick. It's most likely related to an eating disorder, probably bulimia. She has developed peritonitis and we're going to have to operate. Oh my God. Can I see her? Yes, you can. I will need you to sign a consent form. Yes, of course. Well, come on. Let's get you home. No, I want to stay. I want to know she's all right. We'll come back later, OK? I might go up to my room for a while. Sure. Maybe you should start. You were right all along about everything. Well, if something's troubling you, if you're not happy with yourself or with us, Dad, you need to know. It's not any of those things. At least I don't think so. I'm sorry. Then why? I just wanted to be like her. Melissa? Yeah, and Kirsty, I guess. They're both so pretty and so popular and good at everything and... And, and Finn? Melissa told me I could lose weight by making myself throw up. At first I thought it was stupid, but it worked. I could eat anything I liked and I wouldn't put on weight. I just wanted to be like her. But then it got out of control and and I started stuffing myself with food and and then I'd throw up even more. It was disgusting, but I couldn't stop. <laughs> I'll be able to stop, won't I? Well, what do you think after what happened to Melissa? I can do it. I can.